Welcome to the second and final part of the control panel series, Panel Options. In this video, you will learn how to operate the panel and utilize its various functions. With the automatic trimming function, your machine automatically trims your thread. If there ever comes a time when you need or want to manually trim your thread, simply press the button with the scissor icon. Part 2, 100 Degree Button. The 100 degree button on your control panel allows you to align the main axis of your machine to 100 degrees, which is what your machine needs to be set to in order to function properly. To learn how to properly use this function, please refer to our Common Errors video series. Part 3, Starting and Stopping a Job. When all design settings have been selected on your machine and you are ready to embroider, press the Start button located on the bottom of your control panel. Your machine will now start embroidering. To stop the project, press the stop button located on the bottom right corner of your panel. This button also works for rewinding your design when you've had a thread break. If you are experiencing this, please refer to the How to Rewind Your Design video for the step-by-step -step process. Part 4. Accessing Embroidery Parameters To access the Embroidery Parameters menu, select the fourth icon in the right-end column labeled EMB Param. In this menu, you will find all the embroidery settings for your machine. We do not recommend changing these settings without the help of a certified Recoma technician. Part 5. Comprehensive Menu Settings To access the Comprehensive Menu Settings, select the key on the bottom right-hand corner of your control panel. Under this menu, you will find the following main functions. The Factory Settings and Tests option. The different language selections available. The IP address for networking your machine with your computer. And the Onboard Lettering option. Part 6, Adding Fonts. Now you will learn how to create personalization directly on your machine. Before proceeding, make sure the embroidery status is unlocked. If it is locked, select the embroidery status key represented by the lock icon on the top right corner. Press OK to remove the embroidery status. Now select the menu icon on the bottom right corner of the panel. Then press the ABC icon. Type the letters or numbers you would like to use for your personalization. Once you've added the desired lettering, press OK. Now select a font from the bottom row of font options and press OK. Your personalized design will now appear on the screen. You may now edit your design to add more density, distance, size, compensation, or more. When you make a selection, press the clear button labeled CL and then input the desired value and press OK. Once you are happy with the outcome, Import the design onto the machine by selecting the Import to Screen key, which appears to the left of the OK key. The design will now be transferred into the machine's memory. Now click on the Escape button two times to navigate back to the main screen. Next, click the File key and look into your machine's memory list to see your design. It will be displayed as the last import on your list. Last, select your design and press OK. Part 7 Frame Shift Direction and Adjusting the Speed. On your main menu, you will find a plus and minus key that either increases or decreases the speed of your machine. The section in the middle will display the speed your machine is running at. The top number is the speed you have selected to run your machine at, and the bottom number is the actual speed the machine is running at. In this case, it's zero because the machine isn't running. Your panel contains four directional arrows that allow you to move your design along the frame. You may move a design up down, to the right, or to the left. In the center of the directional arrows, you will find the frame shift direction and speed key. You will use this key to increase or decrease the speed by increments and to control how fast the frame moves. To adjust the increments, simply tap on the key until you reach your preferred frame shift direction speed setting. If the key is displaying two arrows, tapping the plus or minus button will increase or decrease the speed by 50 stitches per minute and move the frame faster. If the key is displaying one arrow, tapping the plus or minus button will increase or decrease the speed by 10 stitches per minute and move the frame slower. Part 8, Needle Switch Display, Working Needle. The Needle Switch Display Working Needle icon is located on the top left corner of the main menu. This icon displays two important features on your machine. The large number on the left side represents the working needle and the number on the right side displays the degree the machine is aligned to. In order to operate, the machine must have a needle selected and be aligned to 100 degrees. Therefore, make sure the number on the right side appears as 100, 
and that the number on the left matches the number of the needle you have selected. To change the needle position, select this icon. Now the needles labeled 1 through 15 will appear on your screen. Next, choose which needle you want the machine to use. The machine head will now align with the selected needle. Last, press the Escape button to return to the main menu. Part 9. Frame Out Next up is the Frame Offset key, which is the first icon on the third row of the main menu. It is represented by an icon displaying two frames, one red and one white, and a blue arrow. This option is mostly used when doing appliques. To offset the frame, simply tap the Frame Offset key to bring the hoop forward and position the applique. To bring the hoop back to its starting position, select the Frame Offset key a second time. Part 10. Org Key – How to Abort a Job There may be an instance when you will need to abort an embroidery job. To abort a design and start over, press the key labeled Org, located in the right section of the panel. This is also known as the Origin icon. A message stating Terminate Embroidery and Return to the Origin will appear. Click OK. The frame will now center itself and the design will reset. Part 11. Checking your embroidery area and tracing your design. Press the Trace Design icon located in row 3, column 3, represented by a frame within a frame. The machine will then display a message asking you to enter embroidery status, press OK. The machine will then move to needle 1 to begin tracing the design. Keep an eye on needle 1 to make sure the design does not hit the hoop or frame. Once it completes the embroidery outline, you have the option to do a contoured tracing of your design. You may do this only after the previously mentioned tracing is completed. Press the icon in row 3, column 4, represented by a stitched heart. The machine will now begin a contoured trace in slow motion. Thank you for watching the last and final part of the control panel series. In the next video series, Embroidery Designs, you'll learn how to import and export a design, and more. If you like what you see, like this video, and subscribe to our channel for more helpful information and tips.